the Litter Robot 4 is equipped with OmniSense detection that utilizes laser and weight sensor technology to provide real-time litter and waste drawer levels. OmniSense also supports the Safe Cat system, which continuously analyzes four safety zones to ensure your cat is always safe. There are three laser sensors located in the top of the bezel, called curtain sensors, that accurately measure the capacity of the waste drawer. During each cycle, the unit will measure the waste drawer capacity and check if the waste drawer is full. Once a full waste drawer is detected, the unit will indicate it is full with a flashing blue light bar. The unit will cycle two additional times before it will no longer automatically cycle. If you have emptied the waste drawer and are still seeing a flashing blue light, or you are experiencing inaccurate waste gauge readings within the app, you may need to recalibrate your DFI lasers. First, let's make sure your firmware is up to date. Whisker has the ability to provide updated firmware to your robot with fixes to correct known issues with the unit. We recommend that you always keep your litter robot's firmware updated to ensure the best possible operation. Note, in order to update your firmware via the app, your robot must already be onboarded to the Whisker app. For help with onboarding, please watch our Litter Robot 4 Getting Started Guide. In the Whisker app, select your Litter Robot 4 unit from the dashboard. Tap on the gear icon in the top right corner. On the Robot Settings screen, tap on Firmware Information. On the Information page, tap Update Firmware to begin the update process. If you don't see the option, then you already have the latest firmware update. This may take up to 30 minutes to complete. You will see a single white light blinking on your unit's control panel while your robot's firmware is updating. Try to keep your cat out of the unit during the update, since your cat may not be detected by the sensors during the update period. Once the update is complete, your litter robot should be ready for use. Before you check the waste drawer level on the app to ensure it's accurately representing the level in the waste drawer, press the reset button, then press the cycle button to start a clean cycle. Remove the waste drawer liner and wipe the drawer clean of debris. Add a piece of plain white paper to the bottom of the drawer. For example, a half sheet of printer paper. The purpose of the white paper is to provide a reflective surface for the DFI lasers. Make sure the paper is plain white and does not have a pattern. Also make sure that it will lay flat on the bottom of the drawer. Insert the waste drawer again. Do not add a waste drawer liner yet. Next, press the power button to turn the Litter Robot 4 off. Do not unplug the unit. Wait at least five seconds before beginning the following button press sequence. Press the control panel buttons one at a time in this order. Connect, reset, connect, empty, cycle. Make sure that you press each button within five seconds of the previous button press. If the control panel buttons are incorrectly pressed, the unit will remain off. Wait five seconds and repeat the previous step again. If correctly pressed, the unit will perform a lamp test. That means the LED display will illuminate red, green, and blue lights. Then it will begin to cycle to the dump position, illuminating a round robin green light. This will allow the DFI lasers to see the white paper at the bottom of the drawer when the waste port is positioned over the waste drawer. During calibration, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing green light. If the calibration is successful, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing blue light for five seconds. Then the unit will cycle to home. You can now remove the white paper from the waste drawer, add a new waste drawer liner, and resume use. Tip. For optimal DFI laser accuracy, you can leave the white paper in the bottom of the drawer, always under the drawer liner. If the calibration fails, the LED display will illuminate a solid yellow light with a flashing red light for five seconds. Then the unit will cycle home. If this happens, there's likely an issue with your litter robot. Please contact our customer experience team for additional assistance at whiskersupport.com.